Hey guys, what's up? I'm Eli with Touch Arcade. Today I'm here with Jared and we are taking a look at uh, 2K Drive, a uh, really awesome racing game with one of the most confusing menu systems I think I've ever used. <laughs> um, yeah. So I guess let's uh, let's try to figure out another race to play here. Uh, so there's all these different game modes like to the point that it's kind of crazy. So let's see if we can... See, so I already did this but i don't know if i can so i beat the beast but why is it not you beat a beast good job um all right let's find a race here i guess we haven't done this one head to head i guess i i cannot make heads or tails out of this the menu system <laughs> no dude it's crazy like uh, it's it's interface times 10 it's like they just need a button that's just yeah. like yo i just want to race the next race like i yeah i do not care <laughs> about any of this stuff because the game itself is really cool but the, the menus are slow and they're like clunky and mm -hmm. just button paradise it's like it's like if you took a menu system out of like a, ter a terrible free-to-play game uh, yeah. but this what's weird about this is that like just looking at the menu you know you'd think it's a terrible free-to-play game but it is not I mean it's a a pretty premium racing game uh, yeah the uh, the weird like dual currency thing uh, seems a little off-putting at first, but then you know you kind of realize like, hey, this game just like poops out stars and coins at you like crazy. Yeah, it's pretty Making pretty it, insignificant. Yeah, like the the only time you would really even need to buy anything in the game is if you're just like one of those people that's just like, oh, I gotta have this car now. Yeah, which I mean, I guess the if you want to skip progression in a game and spend money that's that's cool but i mean i always uh, thought the fun part like, of uh fun part of these games is always like upgrading your stuff right and getting new cars right. and all that stuff yeah yeah and like having it be challenging as you go instead of just buying the best thing right off the bat or whatever yeah so let me buy the supercar and then lap everything <laughs> so i bought the uh the fiat as my first car here good choice yeah, I, I I tried to change the color a couple times, but I can't really figure out how to do it in the menu. I can't figure out how to get the uh, setting to stick, so I I don't even know. The uh, the visuals in this game are pretty pretty awesome. Yeah, this is like unbelievable. It's a mobile game. I'm I'm playing this on oh, I won. I'm playing this on uh, the latest generation iPad, so it looks really good. Look at me go! Look at me yeah, go, Jerry. It was from uh, it's from some people that worked on like Project Gotham, and um, I think you can tell. I think it it looks and feels like a Project Gotham game. Yeah. So here, look, it's just like giving me premium currency like crazy, or I, I guess I don't know if you would call it premium currency or whatever. I really wonder if this was going to be a free to play game because it seems like it has all the trimmings for it, but they just like. You know, turned it the. It was. Uh, I'm. I'm pretty sure they said that it was, and then they changed their mind like literally a week before it launched. <laughs> um, so here we go, another race. I've, I've so been having a I lot spent, of fun with this game. I spent some time with it, and um, like I kept wanting to like it more than I think I actually did, and maybe I haven't spent enough time with it, but I felt like the handling just felt not good in it and i don't know if it's because i'm used to something like asphalt which is so fake and like you know it's really just over the top kind of handling to where you get to a game like this that's a little bit more geared towards simulation um if maybe it's just like you know i'm, I'm not putting in the right amount of time to warm up to it or not but um how are no, you finding I, I it so far handling wise um no i i, I totally see that complaint because um the first I, i'm pretty I've gotten kind of used to it now, as you can see. I'm actually like capable of playing the game without crashing. Um, right. But yeah, start starting out, I had to fiddle a lot with the virtual controls. I think I'm using setup B now, um, mm -hmm. which you know, works works pretty well for me. But yeah, like out the gate with the tilt controls and, and everything else, it was a, a disaster for me. Yeah, the yeah. tilting seemed really awful. It was like either very slight steering and then all of a sudden extreme steering, and there's no real middle ground. So here, I'm winning, winning coins, ranking up. All that fun stuff. I, see, like, like all this, 
all this stuff, I just like I, I don't care. I need a I don't care about my premium currency, just let me play the next race button. <laughs> yeah. So let's see, what do we got here? So like there's like tons and tons and tons and tons of content in this game to the point that like you can just keep playing the same races over and over. So here's here's the uh the repair mechanic. Um so again it's it's kind of got that like free to play ish element to it and that all my stuff is on these timers waiting to be repaired. Um, or I can just like hit the button and spend the stars and repair it instantly. And what's weird about this though, is that it's almost seems stupid to even keep that in the game because you get so many stars from racing. Yeah. Yeah. You have I like 7,000 or something ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, maybe as you get deeper into the game, like it, uh, you know, maybe your like supercars are more expensive to upgrade or whatever. But oh, sure. uh, initially, off the start, it's like almost stupid that it has that mechanic in it because it's like, all right, yeah, I just I just won like a thousand. Yeah, I'll give you thirty three to upgrade. No big deal. <laughs> yeah. One thing that's kind of weird about this game is that um, to pull the handbrake, you press the brake area and then swipe. Which I don't know. I mean that feels kind of uh weirdly counterintuitive to me like I, I i guess i guess it's supposed to mimic like yanking uh an e-brake handle up or something i guess but i, I don't know i feel like i feel like i'm not able to use it as well as i want to i guess mm -hmm. i don't know but again that's just like this a, game looks so good to, though yeah, the, it really does. I mean, this if you would have if you would have sent this back in time, like when uh, you know the first like three D iPhone games were starting to come out, like my my head would yeah. explode. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. So I, did I beat the target time, or do I have another lap here? Oh, I have I have to pass one more dude. It looks like. Yeah. Uh, overall, like the racing in this game, outstanding. But everything to do with the interface design is just ridiculous yeah. I mean like even down to like this on-screen display stuff like I don't know why it needs to be in the corner as opposed to kind of like the way that as asphalt does it where it's just kind of like vaguely floating near your car in your like the center of your field of view yeah. one yay so I think one of the big draws of this game too is you mentioned it has so many different kinds of modes, but some of them are like, you know, you have all your regular like race a guy or, you know, hot lap or whatever, but then you have like these super crazy things like there's, you know, knock a soccer ball into a giant goal with your car and all this, these weird game modes that um, I hadn't really come across in the limited time I spent with the game yet. But uh, I think that's one of the really neat things about this game though. It's just like the variety of different things to do. Right. So let's do I'll do my repairs again. And again, like this is stupid. It's like, yeah, two stars. Of course, I'll I'll pay two stars and five stars. Yeah, no big deal. Right. Um, let's see what other kind of crazy game modes can we get to that maybe aren't the championships. Uh, hmm. See what I mean with the menu system here? Yeah, I have no Where idea what's we... going on. Should we try the daily challenge? See what this is all about? Sure. Big coin prizes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> See, if we win this, we get 400 stars, which, again, makes the whole three stars to repair just beyond irrelevant. Yeah. In London still. Yeah, we got to so, see that. Right? Yeah. I played one uh, before we started recording where you were like running from this helicopter, which was kind of crazy. Mm. Yeah, some of the right, visuals, so like the background of it. Oh, oh great. <laughs> Is that you? <laughs> That's my. That's uh, you? My race oh, face, man. buddy. Are you in a Miata? I am. You're making your Miata face. <laughs> yeah. This this has car damage in it too, and I don't I don't know if that affects the performance of your car as well, because typically with these games like like the way you, you kind of cheat ahead is just like run into the first corner, 
and just right. like, slam into the cars and then bounce ahead of them. But I don't know if that is a viable strategy in this game. Yeah, we gotta. Uh, after this, let me try to get to uh, one of the crazier game modes. Oh. So what's also not really clear in this is I, I know that they've they've kind of done like the uh, Real Racing 3 time shifted multiplayer stuff, mm -hmm. but again, like the, the interface design makes it not really clear like what is and isn't a real player. I mean, like, yeah. do we have a this weird Jeep in this race because like some other player like <laughs> raced using that crazy Jeep, or do you just have a super fast Jeep just because? And like this dude that's going backwards. Oh, I guess this is a real. That's a real person. It has to be, right? Yeah, if he's griefing you like that, <laughs> he's going backwards. But yeah, I mean, so far this, I, you know, aside from menu stuff, uh, nothing but good things to say, basically, about this game. Like especially if you're looking for a simulation-y game. And I would still say that Asphalt. Mm -hmm. Uh, recently is the king of uh, you know arcade racing obviously because it's just so gloriously over the top yeah but um, so I guess like you would be comparing these between what like real racing 3 and I don't know yeah. what else I, I think pretty much real racing is the only other kind of competitor specifically so I don't know. I mean, I, I, w I would say you're probably, at least right now, better off like just flipping out the seven bucks and getting a game that doesn't have like any weird paywalls. Not to say that the the paywalls in Real Racing Three are bad because they're they're not terrible. Like especially once you start to get multiple cars, right? But yeah, you don't I really mean, have that. They've tweaked it a lot over the the since it came out. Too. I don't think it's not as forgiving as it was when it first came out, which kind of sucks. So. Yeah beat my rival take that user there we go <laughs> <laughs> oh man so uh, basically every game that comes out from here this point forward should have a facial camera thing so you can put yourself in oh yeah game because it yeah, instantly makes every game better yeah that that's that's basically the best gimmick to ever come of ios game gimmicks <laughs> yeah all right, so uh, let's see. Should we take a look at the car store now that I've earned some sure. coins, I guess? Um, so let's see. Well, no, this is not what I want to be. All right, well, we'll look at the IP stuff anyway. So uh, for initial 10 bucks, you know, you get a, a whole bunch of junk, um, which gets you a huge head start in the game if you don't want to play it mm -hmm. normally. Uh, otherwise, you can convert your coins to stars or you can purchase coins for anywhere between 99 cents to a hundred dollars yeah. so that's cool right uh pretty see. typical i, I guess need to get back to the sh showroom <laughs> wacky menu dude menu menus scratching. in this game are bananas slides like in every direction and like yeah <laughs> All right, so Nissan Cube, no. Uh, Chevy Volt, interesting, but no. Dotson, no. That's the car I bought. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Man, this this needs some kind of list view. This is super slow. So what's crazy about this? I mean, like like we said before, like everything about this game is good except anything to do with the menus. Mm-hmm. Which. I mean, I guess, fortunately, you aren't in the menus much. Oh, hey, there's that crazy Jeep. There's there's your Jeep. Oh, I think we need... Do we need this game Camaro. or this car? All right, let me... You'll find something. Let me see what... What color, though? Uh, I don't know. I'm boring. I always go, like, sweet. black dark blue really i don't know i always i always tend to prefer my cars in white so here let's, let's dump some coins all right can we upgrade this out the gate
course, this also is going to take forever to load. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, so here we got. Oh, this is so slow. <laughs> <laughs> So these uh, these different packs uh, you buy for the you know, the coins, which you can also get from just racing or buying or whatever else. Um, which I, like, what's so strange? Like this game has so many like free to play holdovers, right? Yeah. What else can we do to this thing? All right. No, I don't need. Do we need better wheels? Man, these are expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These are pricey, pricey, pricey. What about, what's the bubbles? Power wash? No. All right. Uh, how many times do I have to hit back to, uh, oh, here, check this out. You can uh, get different helmets for your dude. Oh, wow. Like that one with the, I need to be <laughs> figure out how to become a VIP to get the VIP helmet. All right, these are expensive too, but I feel like if anything, a cool helmet's worth it, right? Yeah, <laughs> some of these are pretty great. Hmm, I don't know, I'm not wild about any of these. Oh, the USA flag. Oh, if only I had two more coins. Look Damn at that, it. that's perfect. That's perfect. Just buy the $100 pack, just do it. Buy the $100 pack and go nuts. All right, how do we get yeah. back to racing? Wait for uh, this. Loading the loading. Oh, here's another neat thing about this. You can hit the interior button and check out like the interior or any of the cars in the wow. little showroom. Which wow, they spent a lot I, of I time. Thought, <clears throat> I thought that was kind of neat, you know, because always like, oh, I wonder what a Nissan Cube inside looks like. Uh, mm -hmm. What should we do now? I guess let's go to challenges. I think I'm trying to find the crazy game modes, which I, I found when I was playing by myself before. I swear. They're, they're there somewhere. <laughs> they're in here somewhere. Uh, Explore TK Drives for... Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, let's see. If I were a crazy game mode... Can we play this one? There's That looks kind of weird. Restricted. You need to own the... All right, so some of these Surf are car. restricted by uh, by car. So, you know, as you get more cars and stuff. Let's try the drag race one. Can we do this? Nope. I don't have the right car. You don't have the right Camaro. Man. Um, do we have this one? No, that I played that one before. It was not a silly game mode. All right. How about well, maybe multiplayer? All right. Here, let's do this one. This is uh, this is the crazy helicopter one I was I was talking about earlier. Oh, okay. So, this game mode makes almost no sense, but it's still <laughs> kind of crazy anyway. So you have this attack helicopter here that, um, for whatever reason is unhappy with your car on this <laughs> racetrack filled with walls. All right. And uh, your goal is to not get hit by a missile, which this helicopter is shooting at you because... Uh, I Why not? Know. Yeah, I, I don't know. So let's check this out. <laughs> this is so weird. But I mean, this this is how the crazy game modes in this game work. Like, so you just got to stay out of that circle um, for a minute. Basically, it means like. just oh man, this thing's fish down like crazy. Um, yeah, so I have to hit a target time of one minute, which you see in the uh, the top left there, which seemed pretty easy to do when I played it before. You just like got to avoid like just like flat out crashing into walls. Yeah. Uh oh. There's like, there's jumps. Jump. You know, because why? Why wouldn't there be jumps? Oh man, this is gonna be trouble. Oh, you're dead. Oh, that crash actually helped you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 
so only gotta go 20 more seconds. Ooh, I think I like my Fiat more than this uh, stupid Mustang. Yeah, this is probably rear rear wheel drive car, which is a lot trickier for me to drive. Yeah, I've always driven. Uh, oh boy, <laughs> I've driven right. front wheel drive cars. Oh, how do I back oh, up? God. Help! 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 help, help. Uh, I still beat the time. We won so anyway. Whatever. I wanted to. I kind of wanted to see you get hit with a missile. See, what's weird about this is that like they uh, they need to filter out people that obviously aren't playing the game because like that one, all I had to do was beat my rival, but it was like the dude died in seven seconds, which means that he like loaded up this level, it did nothing, immediately died. Yeah, and then I mean, so there was like almost no point in me like trying to beat him, right? Yeah. So let's see, what happens if we swipe to the right? Oh, I guess there's more rewards for this. Let's see if we can find one of the soccer ones. Um, race, drag race, survivor, drift, cargo hold. Man, we're just getting deeper and deeper down the list here. The drag race is kind of neat. Do I have the right car for this? Nope. There should be like a, um, you know, make your own race type thing where you could be like, I want to play this style race with these kind of cars or, you know, whatever. Maybe there, there is. Might we be. Can't find it the menu. <laughs> Let's try this one. Can we? Are we? Are we allowed to play this one? Here we go. Oh, cool! I can uh, drive this crazy jeep. <laughs> The old FJ-45. All right, let's uh, let's see what we can get done here on this thing. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> wow, this All is the, crazy. This dirt track. This kind of reminds me of uh, like the the dirt tracks in Mario Kart, right? Mm -hmm. oh, here we go. This, these are gonna be some sick jumps here. I have a feeling that I would have flipped on that. <laughs> I, Can you flip like in this that. game? I have not flipped yet in the time I've spent playing it, but it doesn't mean you can't. I think that you should get one one of these uh, FJ45s in real life, Jared. It look pretty sick. I'd drive that. Uh, Whoa! Pretty sick Go off that giant jump. There. Oh. Oh boy. Okay. Here comes the big one. I think. Oh no! How do you get to that big one? I don't know. It's in the middle. Maybe that's. You got a jeep? Like just last... drive over some fences or something. Maybe that's gonna be like the last jump you get to. Like maybe we're working our Oh no, here's the finish line here. Well, once again, we beat a uh, user with a bunch of numbers who uh, apparently <laughs> took 16 minutes to play that race. <laughs> so that's just great. <laughs> Look at me go. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn it. So yeah, <laughs> Whoa. I guess that's 2K Drive. Um, the racing itself's awesome. Menus really suck, and it would be cool if they could figure out, you know, a way to just delete multiplayer like entries like that <laughs> that obviously are, are someone not playing the game, right? But, yeah, um, I, I think the the face capture feature is probably worth the, the seven bucks to buy this game. Oh God, yeah. I mean, as far as a simulation racing game is concerned, like if you can figure out the menu system, like it's really fun, and uh, you know the the race face system is really cool in here. Like it keeps this persistent profile of you like that, which I mean, I guess probably mm. does something somewhere. Um, <laughs> everything else. So I mean, I don't know if if you're looking for a racing sim, uh, 2K Drive is great. Uh, hopefully they do something to improve the menus or, you know, at least like give you a list of races that, you know, you're able to do instead of hitting all those ones that I'm locked out of and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, other than that, I, I highly recommend picking it up.